Did you know that you can estimate someone's penis size just by looking at the length of their fingers on their right hand? Sounds unbelievable, right? But there's some interesting science behind it. So in this video, I'm going to reveal how you can determine penis size with a quick look at your right hand and even determine the size of your brother, friends, or any man. So what exactly is the second to fourth digit ratio? Actually, it's the ratio of the length of your index finger to your ring finger. This ratio is often referred to as the 2D to 4D ratio. It's a fascinating aspect of human biology, isn't it? Now, take a moment to look at your right hand and focus on the length of your index and ring fingers. What do you see? Is your index finger shorter than your ring finger? Or are they equal in length? Or is it longer? The 2D to 4D ratio actually reveals that who will have larger penis and who will have shorter. To find your 2D to 4D ratio, measure the length of your index finger and your ring finger from the base to the tip. Then, divide the length of your index finger by the length of your ring finger. Research suggests that the 2D to 4D ratio is influenced by the level of exposure to testosterone in the womb, meaning your exposure to testosterone began long before you were born, specifically between 9 to 14 weeks of gestation. Higher prenatal testosterone levels are thought to result in a lower 2D to 4D ratio, meaning the ring finger is longer compared to the index finger. That means when you were in your mother's womb, you were exposed to a larger amounts of testosterone. Conversely, lower prenatal testosterone levels tend to produce a higher ratio. Meaning, if the ring finger is shorter than index finger, that means you were exposed to low amounts of testosterone. This ratio is more than just a quirky anatomical fact. Many studies have linked the 2D to 4D ratio to various traits and characteristics, including athletic ability, cognitive skills, and even risk of certain diseases. But since this video is dedicated to penis size, so we'll just talk about penis size. Now, if you have seen my video on why is your penis small, then you should know by now that testosterone is responsible for penile development and growth when you're in your mother's womb. If you have not seen this video, I suggest you to watch this first to have a better understanding. Now, the question is, could a low 2D to 4D ratio indicate a larger penis? Well, the answer is yes. Okay, so a study published in the Asian Journal of Andrology found a correlation between a lower 2D to 4D ratio and a larger penis size. The researchers hypothesize that both traits might be influenced by the same prenatal factors, particularly testosterone. Now, let me tell you something very interesting. Another study reveals that in Korea, some patients who came to the hospital for urological surgery, they took advantage of them. Now, what happens in surgery is, typically during surgery, patients are given anesthesia. While they were under anesthesia, the researchers took measurements of their penises, both in a stretched and flaccid state, and compared these measurements with their 2D to 4D digit ratios. They measured about 200 men of all age. What they found was that men with longer ring fingers tend to have longer penises. All right, so one more thing. You know, this 2D to 4D ratio isn't just connected to penis size, but also with something else. Men with low 2D to 4D digit ratios are smarter than others with high 2D to 4D ratio. One explanation that I found in an article is that prenatal testosterone levels not only influence physical traits, but also shape brain structures. This allows these men to make quick decisions and take more risks, contributing to their overall success. So, should you be measuring your fingers and worrying about what it means? Not at all. This information is interesting and adds to our understanding of human development, but it doesn't define your worth or capabilities. Now, I'm sure you had a look on your fingers of your right hand while watching this video, right? I would love to hear from you. Is your index finger is longer than your ring finger? Or is it shorter? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.